each rung of the ladder that separated him from his title. to turn professional after the last Olympic Games. This will be in the welterweight division. Cordova trying to figure out a way to keep Spence off. His run of dominance continued. No, 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 the Sloan's Project backup channel. Um, today I'm talking about Errol Spence Jr., the WBC and IBF welterweight champion. Um, salute the Boy Films for the documentary. It shows Errol Spence Jr. in his amateur days. Salute to Errol Spence Jr. and all his success. He's 27 and 0. That's his boxing record. 21 knockouts. I would like to see him against Terrence Bud Crawford or uh, Manny Pacquiao at this point, and uh, hopefully it goes down. Errol, Errol, the Truth Spence Jr. is the biggest star, and uh, he won 60-40 versus uh, Terrence Bud Crawford, and Terrence Bud Crawford won 50-50. Hopefully. This fight can go down because the best need to fight the best. And Tansbud Crawford is the best. And I would like to see them fight. But, you know, we got people like Bob Arum um, not wanting to um, accept 60-40 from Errol Spence Jr. And um, I think he should. Errol Spence Jr. is the biggest star. He has two belts. Tansbud Crawford only has one belt. I think he should accept that fight. But it was a good documentary. It shows you a lot of knockouts. Errol Spence Jr. in a way kind of remind me of, of Mike Tyson as far as the knockouts, uh, the early knockouts and uh, early rounds. Uh, he kind of like remind me of um, Mike Tyson as far as that's concerned. But um, he's definitely great. I definitely see Errol Spence Jr. in the Hall of Fame um, in the future. Definitely. Um, salute to Terrence Bud Crawford. Like I said, I, I I hope that fight go down or him or or if he fight Manny, if Errol Spence Jr. fights Manny Pacquiao, that would be a good fight. But um, Terrence Bud Crawford needs just to, to accept the 60-40. Like I said, it was a good documentary. Y'all could check out Errol Spence Jr. documentary. Just type it in or type in Boy Films on YouTube. Until the next video, I'm gone. I'll tell you, he's the hardest worker on the team and there's a very, very big upside with Errol Spence. Went through the Olympic Games, he got to the uh, to the third round of the Olympics. Errol Spence is probably the best pro-ready style prospect out of this bunch. I like the way he, you know, he's aggressive, he sits on his plan.